Hey, what's up, guys? Ryan Rick, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2. Not the number two, not like you're going to watch this vlog, but T-O-O, like in addition, like also. Good Monday, not morning. Um, I have pretty much, for this afternoon, pretty much slept the entire day away. Uh, I don't know, I just I was in the bathroom a few times last night and today, didn't feel the best. Needed to rest, woke up in like a big, deep, uh, well, it was a long sleep, but woke up like sweating. So I knew if something was wrong with me, I'm probably better now and just jumped in the shower and I feel a little better, but like I said, I've been asleep for about six hours. Completely missed my afternoon and evening of work and everything I was planning on doing. Um, and I'm just like, blah, blah. do you ever have one of those blah feelings? You know, my stomach's just been uneasy. I got so many things that are consuming my mind and I'm sure that has a lot to do with it as well. Um, so today, uh, for today's vlog, I wanted to keep it simple, talk to you guys about yesterday's show. Uh, what your thoughts are were on that. You guys are probably wondering what is going on with the lighting right now. I'll show you. Uh, I'm trying to yet another setup here. So let's see how well we can see that. So you can see here, we got a Canon 70D Rode Video Mic Pro and then the screen flipped out, uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Um, the windscreen on the top, in case I go outside. Face detection's on, you can see that little square popping up on my face. Um, and then using a monopod here. So that's why it looks extremely weird. Um, and then it's also doing, uh, I need to turn that off there actually. It was actually doing auto white balance and because the lighting in my kitchen and everywhere else in my house is all these white lights. You can see up there, those are the white daylight series lights. The kitchen or the lights unfortunately in the bathroom are the yellow. So that'd be like a 5500K color. So it makes me more yellow and not white, and then the Canon has to adjust to that. It's doing a pretty good job. I'm kind of watching over here, so it looks like I'm looking over to the right. It's because I err would be your left, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> it's because I'm looking at the monitor flipped out. So I'm just chilling right now, guys. It, I'm not kidding you. I wanted to get this something for the vlog put together only because it's got so late in the day. It doesn't give me much time to edit and upload, which is fine. And it's really hot in here. It says it's 72, so I'm like almost sweating right now. But hey, you know, what can you do? What can you do? But you guys will have to let me know um, how this sounds and looks. You know, I know it's different and it's definitely not going to be a wide angle uh, like the GoPro would be. But I think it also offers some pretty good clarity, really good quality. And you know me, I'm always trying something new, something different. Um, I had my... You can see here, I had this out last night. I was trying to get some images of stars, so I had the GoPro out. I know. I was trying to capture some Milky Way action last night. Didn't really work. I wasn't really feeling it, but uh, decided to start a big load of laundry in really hot water because if you're not feeling well and you're getting sick, you might want to do some clothes and wash your laundry. So I have all that going on up there. And it's Monday, just chilling, you know. There's a lot of talk today with it being Columbus Day, you know. I'm 35 years old, went to school, we read textbooks that said Christopher Columbus discovered America, sailed the ocean blue in 1492, you know, great. As I got older, I actually learned the reality behind Columbus, you know, Italian, you know, you can't really discover an America when there's already people here living here, and I know I've got some family uh, with Native American uh, ancestry, uh, my brother my brother, my real brother on my dad's side, his wife, I believe, has some Native American uh, history. So, you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful by any means to anybody, but if we're going to write the textbooks one way for my generation as Columbus, you know, discovered America, we need to stick with it. If we're going to say it's, you know, Indigenous Peoples Day, then let's stick with that too. You know, it seems like every day we have some other... I mean, some other topic that can be discussed that actually has a platform, whereas it never would have one before. So many of these hot topic issues that unfortunately I'm not going to engage in because I'm not going to be labeled as my view this way or my view that way. The reality is this. I was taught in school that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Like I said, I learned later in life that that was not entirely true. Now, what has gone on record that Columbus has done, other Europeans have done, is really no different than what anybody else is currently doing to anybody. Um, for example, you know, we've got people are terrorism, people are committing crime. It doesn't matter what country you come from, that's happening no matter where you are. We have our own government in the United States commit crime. You know, the past two governors in Illinois committed crime serving uh, federal prison for, in Illinois. 
So it, it, it's like it doesn't matter what it is. There's always a hot topic to talk about, and everybody's always got the platform. I graduated from University of Illinois, and I saw today where a group of people from the student union were petitioning to change today um, from Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. I get why they want to do that. I completely understand, and I'm not, I'm not discrediting that. But we've done something such a long way. It's a, it's a federal holiday. It's celebrated in Illinois, recognized. The banks are closed for it. So if we're going to rewrite history, let's write it correctly. You know, let's write it truthfully. And I'm all for that. You know, I mean, Christopher Columbus. Most people didn't even know he was Italian. Um, some people didn't know that. You know, that's why a lot of you know, I've got some Italian friends, and there's a very strong Italian-American heritage in the United States, um, and Italians are very proud, as they should be. Um, they, along with other Europeans, fought to come over to this country. So, you know, with Christopher Columbus, you know, it kind of, the you know, one who took, you know, essentially Native Americans, indigenous people, and turned them into slaves, you, you know, used women in this, you know, as sex slaves. It's, it, they're all hot topics, I completely understand. So if we're not going to recognize them as that in the textbooks anymore, then we need to change history. So we can't. We need to just write history as it actually happened, not what we want to tell everyone. So, you know, the textbooks, for example, like my son, when he has kids, his generation, I mean, they're going to be full of information, you know, things from 9-11 and Benghazi and all kinds of political scams and turmoil and just there's so much going on, you know. This year has been incredible in regards to you know movement with things like you know gay marriage and it's there's so many hot button topics right now you know today being one of them columbus day indigenous people's day i'm going to recognize both and i'm not trying to offend anybody in the vlog this is my personal opinion just how i feel you know i am a, a college educated person so i am in a position to in my opinion make that statement but, you know, there was no talk today about, like, Million Man March or anything like that. Do you guys even know what the Million Man March is? If you don't, Google it. Um, I'll link some links down below to the Million Man March. Not a single topic uh, discussed about that today. So, it's just, you know, we talk about school shootings. They happen every other day. We talk about disarming the country, United States with guns. We talk about labeling Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. I just don't know what is next for this great country. We got Donald Trump running or Donald Trump running for president, which I actually think that was all just a political sham for him to just see if he could do it. And I don't. I think he'll fold under pressure. I don't think he's really got what it takes to go the whole way on that. But we'll never know. I mean, what are you guys' thoughts with Columbus Day being changed to Indigenous Peoples Day? I think it's read, uh, recognized in nine cities right now as uh, Indigenous Peoples Day, and I think that's cool, you know? Um, I think if the history and what we celebrate, you know, is incorrect and not right, we need to change that. Um, if we're doing something wrong, we need to hold to that, you know, and make, make good on our words. So if you guys are not familiar with Christopher Columbus, if you're not familiar with him, the background, his story, what he did, the fact that he really did not discover the Americas, um, you know, he was on a he was on a ship. You know, he was cruising with other people, other ships, a whole crew from Queen of Queen Elizabeth, I think, from England, um, and I'm pretty confident they were on a mission to find gold, um, slaves. You know, that's what I've read. Those are facts. You know, Christopher Columbus kept a log, and some of that's been published. So you don't have to take what I say as gospel. I'm never going to tell you a lie. I'm just going to tell you my feelings and speak the truth. So, but I encourage you guys to check out, read about that um, today. You know, Columbus Day, a.k.a. Indigenous Peoples Day. I want you guys to recognize what today is and what it means to other people besides yourself. You know, uh, my family, we have a, a Scotch-Irish background. So, you know, I am a very proud Irish-American. Does that change anything? Does anybody want to insult me because, you know, my people came from Ireland and Scotland? We're Europeans. A lot of Europeans came to the Americas. They moved west. Um, and then once we got to America, we moved west, the westward expansion, in search of gold. So sorry for the little history report today. I think it was spawned just from sleeping and so much stuff I had read before I got sick this morning. I could even know what made me sick. I'm not sure. But I feel a little better, but uh, running late in the evening to be able to get this one up by today. You can see the time there, 8.24. So we're trying out the Canon 70D. You guys can let me know what the picture quality was. If you like this style, a kind of log, it works pretty well. A little heavy in the hand with the DSLR, but I would not be the only one to vlog with a DSLR. So 
We'll keep it at that. You guys research today. Let me know what you think about in the comments. And the real, we'll just say the real truth behind Christopher Columbus. You guys figure it out. Let me know in the comments below that you read it. You take a look at it. You understand what I'm talking about. So you can see why it's so controversial. And I get it. I completely relate. And I'm not trying to offend anybody. And if I did offend anybody, I apologize. But if I really did offend you, please go back and watch the part that offended you because if you listen closely, I'm pretty sure I did it in a non-offending way. So, like I said, I am me, Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2, not the number two. Not like you're going to watch this vlog. Not like you're going to check out what today's history is all about with in regards to today's date. Because you should. But T.O., like in addition, like also, if you enjoyed today's I'm Sick, I had to put something together for you, so we'll make it a history lesson vlog, please. Click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my vlog channel if you're not. Hopefully be feeling a little better tomorrow. I'll bring you guys a little bit better of a vlog. Maybe some more action going on. But I'm going to just kind of sit down, chill out. I think Karen's got some soup uh, made for me. Probably eat that while I edit this. Get it uploaded. Lay back down. So, But I hope you guys did enjoy. Please click thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. And we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Happy Monday controller which has got paddles on the back uh, on the back on the back you know and you can map those or customizable using an app it's quite amazing technology built in that controller so at a minimum I'm at least going to check out the controller um, trying to pick up a Forza 6 new controller for Xbox One and then the uh, Black Ops 3 controllers for PS4 they have limited edition ones they'll be selling